and welcome back to the Daily Budget YouTube channel. Today I'm going over my February budget closeout. I wanted to talk about my categories and tracking my expenses throughout the month. So this is the first time I've actually filled out the budget category organizer. I've had most of these categories established for tracking my expenses, but I wanted to break them down a little bit more into how I organize my expenses. So you can see groceries is pretty simple. It's just grocery stores and stuff like the farmer's market. Gas is just car gas. Coffee, I include to-go coffee, but I also include to-go snacks from, co from coffee shops. Things like breakfast sandwiches or just stuff when you're out and about. And then we have gas station goodies, which includes just any energy drinks or food from the gas station. And I like to track these individually because they do tend to be a higher expense out of our budget. As opposed to just including them in our fun money. I like to track them individually because we're working on lowering these two categories. And then for fun, this is our personal spending money, so I just include any shopping and like eating out in here. We don't eat out very often, that's why I include it in our fun money, because if we do eat out, it's usually just like something simple, like a donut, or occasionally we'll go out to dinner if there's a holiday or something. And then... This is a new one for me. I used to track household as miscellaneous, and I would kind of just add it in depending on the month. But I decided to dedicate a whole household category for this. This is going to include things like diapers and wipes, paper goods like toilet paper, uh, cleaning supplies, anything kind of for the ha house. And then I'm going to include car washes in here because occasionally we do need a car wash and I don't want to take that out of our personal spending money because sometimes it's a necessity. And then cat food is also going to be included in this household budget category. Next we have bills, which I don't normally tally all this stuff up at the end of the month. But I do track them on my expense log, things like utilities, rent, and debt payments. And then tracking income, we have income one, income two, and side hustles. And then something else new that I'm starting is tracking our transfers. So we get paid every week, and I try and transfer $350 from our savings account to our checking account, but I'm trying to be more diligent to make sure that that's the only thing coming out of our savings account to our checking when we pay rent. I know in the past we've been short $50 and so we just pulled it from our savings account, but I want to be more diligent about tracking this. And then birthday gifts, I am assigning its own category because we do have quite a few family members that we buy for that have birthdays around the same time of the year. So I would like to track this individually as we typically cash flow those items. Next, I want to talk about my monthly budget category breakdown. And so our starting balance in our checking account was $51.36. Our earned income was $2,994.04, and then our other income was $1,110, and we used $0 out of our savings account, which I'm so proud of. So our total monthly inflow was $4,155.40. So because we get paid weekly, I try and do a monthly kind of like budget overview at the beginning of the month. And I think, I don't know if I was trying to be overly ambitious or what, but 
you'll notice that some of these categories are going to be off because I didn't actually budget money for some of these. I also want to point out that we don't typically have an eating out category. This is normally included in our fun money, but I knew that this in the month of February, we spent a little bit more on eating out than we typically would. So I wanted to just track that individually to see how much it actually was. So jumping right in, I budgeted $500 for groceries and we were well over that. We spent $1,016.21. So we were over budget by $516.20, which part of that I'm not too upset about because someone gave us, I think, $200 for food. And that was 24% of our monthly inflow. Next, we have gas, which I budgeted $100 for. And we only spent $90.46. And so we still had $9.54 left in that category. Coffee, again, this is to-go coffee. I budgeted $0. I really was trying to go without buying to-go coffee for the month of February. And I spent 400 or 400 no $49.48 so I was over budget and then gas station goodies I also budgeted zero but it was $103.89 and then fun money I budgeted $100 but we spent $285.40 so we were over budget by $185.40, and that was 6% of our monthly inflow. Eating out, I budgeted zero because this isn't usually a category that we track, but we spent $34.40. And then gifts, we budgeted $200 and we spent $195.24. And then household, we budgeted $200 and spent $285.45. So we were over budget by $85.45 for a total of 6% of our total monthly inflow. Next, I wanna talk about the monthly spending comparison. And I was so excited to fill this out because this is the first month that I've used one of these. I started using the Budget Moms Budget by Paycheck Workbook in January of this year, and this was one of the forms I was really excited to fill out. So if we just look at January for reference on groceries, you can see that we spent less in January on groceries and more in February, but the percentage of budget is interesting because even though we spent more in February, it was actually a smaller percentage of our budget. We did have a monthly inflow change of $344.85. So part of that will bring this down. And then moving forward, gas. In January, we spent $153.98. And in February, we lowered that to $90.46. For coffee... I was really excited about this. So in January, I spent $232.33 on to-go coffee, and that was 8% 8 of the budget. And in February, I spent $49.48 for a total of 1% of the budget. Gas station goodies, last month was $77.78, and February it was... 103.89 and as you can see the percentage remained the same for fun money in January we spent $97.75 and in February it was 319.80 for household I didn't have a household category in January and we didn't have any gifts we needed to buy in January either that's why there is no money spent or percentage of category filled out here. And then as you can see in February, my household 
was $285.45. That was 6% of our budget. And then gifts was $195.24 for a total of 4% of our budget. So I'm excited to see some of these numbers going forward as I start to compare some of the different months. Thank you for watching.